Assalamu alaikum. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Dear friends, as you know, I in the first two episodes I have presented the tafsir of the first and second ayat of Surah Al-Fatiha. Inshallah, today I will present to you the tafsir of the next ayat, which is Malik Yawm al-Din, owner of the Day of Judgment. As I told you before. You may think why I am presenting tafsir of one ayat at a time, and that is because I want to focus on the subject more deeply. This is the third and final ayat of the first three, which were dedicated to introduce Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. It is also important to understand that we say Alhamdulillah, praise and thanks belongs to Allah, for three reasons. Mentioned in these three ayats, one, we thank Allah because He is Rabb al Alamin, Master of the people. Two, because we thank Allah because He is Ar Rahman al Rahim, most loving and caring. And three, we thank Allah because because He is Malik Yawm al Din, owner of the Judgment Day. Now, what this Malik Yawm al Din is, and why this is so important. When your master is extremely and continuously loving and caring, you may take this as granted. You may take this as a license to do whatever you want. I give you an example. For example, if you are an employee and your boss is very nice and kind, you may try to take the advantage by not doing the work properly. So there should be some system of annual evaluation. Same thing is here. Yes, Allah is a Rahman. He is Rahim. But that does not give you the license to do whatever you want. You have to. Yeah, you have to be responsible and accountable of your work on Judgment Day. Notice here, what was the first description of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala after Alhamdulillah? It was Rob, right? Here. Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala is not saying Rabb bi yawm al din. Instead, He decides to say Malik yawm al din. Why? Because Rabb is the master who is Rahman and Rahim, loves and cares. But on the day of judgment, yawm al din, He will only worry about His ownership. Every single deed of yours will be brought back in front of you. The next word of Malik is yaw, day. The word day is a unit of time. Think carefully. You may own a car. You may own a house. You may own big. You may own a big property, but you cannot own a day. You cannot own a minute, or you cannot even own a second. Here in this ayat, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala is. Telling us about his ownership of something he can only own, and since he owns time, he can slow it down. He can stop it. He can make a day longer than fifty thousand years if he wants to. And here lies the answer of the question: How can the judgment day will be so longer? The last word is din, the judgment. Kiyama, taqabun, hashr are the other words of judgment day. And why not Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala using those words here? Why he chose din? Because din means complete justice, while every single thing is being dealt with. In this world, din, the complete justice, is not possible. I give you an example. If someone kills one hundred people, what is the highest punishment? Death sentence, right? He killed one hundred people, but how many times will he will he get killed? Once. That is not complete justice. I, another example that there may be some situations where you do good deeds, but you are not rewarded. So in this world, justice does not exist in perfect sense. But in the day of judgment, every last thing will be dealt with. Does not matter how big or how small it is. Now let's do some math. Imagine there is a big number line. One side is the positive, zero is in the middle, and one side is negative. Love and care is at the positive. 
Judgment is at the middle, standing for zero. Then what should be in the negative to balance this board? Punishment, right? No, 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 no. Allah did not say, Maliki yawmul azab. He said, Maliki yawmiddin. Why? That's because Allah is not punishing us himself and purpose. It's because he wants to be fair. It's the fairness of Allah for which somebody will be punished. Whoever will receive the book of record, Al-Amal Mama, will, at the right hand will see Allah as a rahman rahim And whoever will receive the book in the left hand will, be, will see Allah as if he is doing fair justice to him. He is getting back what he did. So in these three ayats, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim, Maliki Yawm Al-Deen are completely introduction of Allah. If someone, you know, asks you, hey, who is Allah? Just recite these three ayats. And there is the introduction of Allah. There you go. It, answer, and it, it, it answers virtually everything, concisely and completely. Thank you all. Assalamu